Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Marketplace Custom Registration Plugin and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you how the WooCommerce Marketplace uh, Web Studio Admin would be able to set up a customizable registration form that can be accessed by the uh, users that uh, want to register themselves at your uh, Marketplace Web Store as a vendor and the admin can make use of uh, different uh, types of uh, uh, custom options like radio buttons, multiple select, text, date and time and much more. So uh, first of all I will be showing you how the registration or the custom registration field uh, or the uh, custom registration page appears to the uh, uh, users when they are coming and trying to register themselves as a vendor within your store and then we will be seeing how the admin would be able to set up those uh, customizable options uh, from the admin backend using the WooCommerce Marketplace custom registration plugin itself. So let's go to the web store first uh, and uh, we'll just take you to the storefront first. So you can see that right now I'm at the uh, storefront of the uh, WooCommerce Multimedia Marketplace by WebGuild and we are in the uh, section where we'll be able to log into our account uh, panel. Now uh, on the right hand side, left hand is the login and on the right hand side we have the register option so uh, this is uh, basically right now for the customers and if we toggle it to the I am a seller let's tap that up you'll be able to see that we can uh, see uh, a lot of different uh, options here for the re registration of the uh, users as a vendor wherein a uh, uh, user can enter his username email address password first name last name shop name uh, the shop URL his phone number so these are the default ones and apart from that now you can see that we have set up the alternate contact number of this particular user who wants to become a vendor within our marketplace store based on the WooCommerce platform. Apart from that we have set up uh, the option that is uh, our seller location whether you are in uh, USA or India and we also set up the uh, uh, option that allows uh, uh, the customer to check this option that he has read all the terms and conditions uh, regarding the conversion of a user into a vendor within the marketplace store itself. So these uh, three options that you can see here are the uh, custom registration uh, options that the admin has created for the marketplace uh, vendors. And uh, now uh, let's log into the uh, vendor account and uh, on the left hand side I've already entered my username and password. So that was how the, uh, the registration page appears with the custom uh, registration fields. Uh, to the users on the storefront when they're trying to uh, uh, create a vendor account within your multi vendor marketplace uh, itself. So let's log into the vendor account and let's go to the uh, seller profile page. So we have logged in. Now uh, let me go to the seller profile and let's see whether these uh, custom options uh, that the admin has created for the seller registration page are visible here as well or not so the default ones are there username first name last email shop name shop url and now you can see the and uh, here also we have the default ones like the phone number address city postal code country uh the state or the county and when we come down and we scroll down now we can see the uh, customer registration fields here that's the alternate contact number the seller's location a radio button is used for that a checkbox for the terms and conditions and uh, thereafter you can see that from here the vendors can alter their uh, details as well so for example uh, if i choose this as a uh, uh, usa the telephone number and this and let's tap here on the update button you can see that the profile has been updated so basically uh, even if uh, the uh, vendors don't uh, enter the details on the uh, registration form there they can basically alter the details within their seller profile as you can see so now we have saved our contact number, the location and uh, we have checked the uh, terms and conditions uh, applicable to the marketplace uh, itself for the vendors. So that's how the vendors can uh, edit their uh, custom fields under the own account panel. Now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin can uh, create the custom uh, fields uh, for the vendor registration page. So here I'm at the um, multi-vendor marketplace uh, WooCommerce uh, backend panel. So I'll be logging into my admin uh, panel by entering my username and password. And after login on the left hand side, as we know, after you've successfully installed this particular plugin, 
you'll be able to see the MP custom registration option and under that we have all forms and add new form so it's the marketplace custom registration so let's go to each of them one by one so let's go to the all forms and I'll open the add new as well in another window so uh, this one is uh, the uh, section that's the all forms and it displays the complete list of custom registration uh, forms that you have uh, created uh, which are created by the web store admin itself and from here you can uh, make a selection of the created custom registration uh, forms and uh, you can also make bulk actions like you can uh, edit them you can move them to the trash apart from that you can also uh, see the details and uh, you can also edit or you can prove the same so for example if I tap here on the preview link uh, for the advanced uh, form let me open that up in another window so that would basically uh, show us uh, the uh, preview for the uh, customer registration itself now uh, coming uh, at the top here as you can see right now we have uh, this add new button so you can tap that to create a new uh, custom registration for the form for the marketplace vendors otherwise you can also go to the add new link here under the MP custom registration option so uh, for now let's uh, go to uh, the add new uh, by tapping here on the add new so here you can uh, enter the uh, name of the registration uh, form so uh, I'll set it as new test uh, registration page and uh, here you can see that we have the custom registration form as you can see and after creation uh, when you are publishing this particular uh, form then these custom options uh, or the custom registration options would be available at the storefront uh, whenever a user is trying to become a vendor with a new marketplace store and uh, here you can see that we have the general fields and the advanced fields as well and on the right hand side we have the form fields and below that we have the form settings and the email settings so uh, under the general fields you have name first name last name subject text number password radio buttons select checkbox so you can choose any of the general fields and can add that to your uh, for, form that you're going to create you can make, uh, make use of any of this uh, field by tapping here on the add button as you can see I've tapped here on the first name so it's appeared here on the form fields you can uh, make a configuration for that particular uh, field by tapping on the configure icon so you can change the label you can set up a note you can choose to have a conditional logic you can make it as required uh, then you can set up the validation how the validation should be applicable to that particular uh, label that you're going to create for that particular uh, what we say as the field to remove just tap here on the cross button and that would remove that particular field for example if I tap here on the radio button it would be added here you can also drag and drop the same so if I choose the radio and let me drop it here so it depends you can set it at the top as well now we can configure the radio we can set up the radio button as radio test if you want enter you can enter some uh, test note for example you can choose to have the conditional uh, logic uh, and you can also make it as required or not and here you can set up the options TS1 and its value for example 89 to add more just tap here on the add so I'll set it as T1 as 98 and uh, that's how we can add the different uh, general fields apart from that let's see how we can add the advanced fields so for that uh, just give me a minute and uh, we'll be seeing that as well so for from here we can choose to have the uh, profile image uh, being edited so you can drag and drop that one as well so now you can see the uh, option to uh, choose the profile image on the registration page itself so you can configure that as well you can change the label you can set up the conditional logic correct whether it's a required one or not and similarly you can choose a phone uh, and URL address so if I drag and drop it comes up here we can configure it by tapping there we can set up the conditional logic as well and we can set up the logic for the same and uh, you can also make it as a, a required or not and then you can set up the validation for the type of the uh, custom option that you're going to create now uh, after we've uh, after we save this particular thing let me remove this out 
and this one this one and what you need to do is you need to save the draft first after you have saved you can uh, update it and you can see that the status right now is uh, published and if we go to the uh, storefront now and uh, at the storefront uh, we have this register option for the customer and if I toggle here uh, to register as a seller let me tap that up and if I now scroll upwards you can see that uh, these are the uh, default ones like the username email password first now last name shop name shop URL, phone number and this is the radio test button that we just created from the back end this is the uh, address uh, thing that we have right and this one is the profile image that we uh, edit uh, from the back end itself so this is this is the radio test then the address the profile image then we have the username and the email and uh, then we have the username and the email as well and these are the text boxes so that's how you can customize your uh, vendor registration page from the back end uh, using this particular plugin that we have that's the WooCommerce marketplace uh, window or WooCommerce uh, custom registration uh, plugin that we have and let's go to the uh, back end once again so that's how you can add the general fields and the advanced fields for your customized registration form and uh, likewise you can set up the name of the form as well and then this particular form would uh, get displayed under the all form section uh, that's here we have it and uh, from here as well we can view it or we can delete it as well as by our own uh, requirement there and apart from that uh, for the uh, form you can set up the button label that and set the label for it you can change that label as well so uh, for example if I set it as a reset login and uh, if we choose it as orange and we can set a thanks message as well and after tapping on that particular button the uh, basically uh, the uh, color would be changed now and a thank you message after tapping that button would be displayed to the user and the uh, button label is also changed according to your own requirement how you want to set that up so after doing that you just need to uh, save it and uh, I'll just tap here in the update. Commerce Marketplace uh, custom registration plugin. I hope it helped you out in understanding its workflow. And uh, if you have any questions, queries, suggestions, requirements, and you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise it to get at webpool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.